This is Robert Monroe, and welcome to another Explorer Tape Session. Again, we return to ROMC, this time for a special study in consciousness. As we pick it up, ROMC has just completed moving into Focus 12, and then begins in this new form of translation. I just very gently sort of floated up to my platform and uh, got very relaxed on my platform, but all of a sudden I saw myself uh, on my platform in a different kind of a position. It's like I, uh, I had some kind of earphones on, and, and it's like I was connected by a light beam. It's like some energy earphones, and uh, it's like I had a kind of a typewriter, too sort of a comical sight, but I uh, just saw myself uh, like I'm taking some dictation. And uh, uh, this uh, beam that's connected to my earphones is a, a light beam that is uh, just a connection between an aspect of myself and another energy level where I uh, would just receive some dictation and uh, I could hear some uh, words start and I guess it's like I'm going to just be taking down this dictation and I'll just I'll see what's being dictated to me I'll hear what's being dictated I guess mm. It's, it's like sometimes I do this automatic uh, typing where I just sit down and take dictation, but it's like I see my, I'm typing and the words are coming as I'm typing and I can see it. I, it says, it's, uh, okay, I'll just, I'll just have this. I always find myself resisting it a little bit, but I got to let the energy flow and just let it go. Okay, it's, it's coming in a, it's in a, coming in a typing rhythm. It's sort of interesting. And the words are coming like this. We are speaking through this method as a, another form of tapping in to the consciousness level of this energy being to help her to interpret some of the experiences that have been taking place in her level of consciousness. We would like to speak on the nature of consciousness and to interpret the experiences which have been happening, it is important to describe to this entity the nature of these experiences to help to clarify the overall purpose of the of the journeys that are taking place. The learning can take place on many levels through experience and also through the knowledge that is interpreted through these experiences and this soul and energy form is being taken through the lessons uh, as a part of her own growth and her own levels of understanding but it is also a method which is helpful in the growth and understanding of others 
therefore this is why the the specific experiences and lessons are done in many different forms because the a learning process is a creative process and therefore we use all aspects of the creative nature of of the creative nature of of each soul creativity is the very essence of a life and therefore this creativity is a means of bringing through the lessons and experiences in a form that is not only understandable to this soul but to others we speak on the nature of consciousness because this is what has been this is what has been taking place in the journeys of this energy soul it is a journey into the various levels of consciousness and the all aspects of the self are in use the sight the sound the touch the feel aspects of the physical time self but within the deeper levels of the self there are other dimensions of understanding and this is what was being interpreted on the level of knowing which is the level which goes outside of time and the level that goes into uh, other dimensions of the consciousness the time dimension of consciousness is that dimension where all the physical senses are at work and therefore this is why there is a connection between the physical senses when these teachings are taking place and when the energy of self experiences on different levels it is through the senses in the time dimension that we are able to help the self interpret and understanding and understand what takes place because this is the level of the conscious level of the soul and therefore this is the level in which the interpretation is being made but from the deeper level of experience and the level of knowing this is on a timeless level and it 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 is a difficult task to get through the lessons and the experiences and the knowledge uh, that is uh, tapped into on this level because it is understood on different energy it is understood on a different energy vibration however we must work now with with what what we have to work with and as we proceed we will find other means of communicating on the levels of other consciousness experiences it, we would like to speak of a level of consciousness which is that level where the human self exists in the earth form and that level of consciousness is that level which is in touch with the energies of the physical 
forms of the earth. It is the physical level of the the physical self being being in touch with the similar levels of the earth and this level of consciousness is that level whereby the soul uh, the soul has the experiences of, of growth however it is also that level whereby the soul has the experiences of questioning the purpose and of doubting and the levels whereby there is not the inner understanding of the higher purpose of experience. The, the conscious level of the conscious state is that level uh, where actually the the self uh, is taught to understand its own nature and these are also the same levels that exist in the dream state of uh, the individual there are several aspects of this conscious uh, level of consciousness the conscious level is that level whereby the soul is in touch with its experiences that relate to the physical plane and these are the experiences that are interpreted uh, even in the dream state to help the soul to understand the uh, nature of their own nature of their own experiences and emotional levels this conscious level is not a conscious level as you know it because it is that level that is always in touch with the physical and often many souls are are not in touch even with their conscious level in the waking state or in the dream state most souls uh, that are not in touch with their own physical uh, attunement with their own physical attunement to self or with the earth level are out of balance because they are not aware of the energy the energy the energy uh, flows even within their even within their waking state these souls that are not in touch with their consciousness level are living out of balance because they are not even in control of the own energy that flows through their mental selves and uh, through their emotional selves a large part of human nature is in this position to be absolute to be not uh, awake to the happenings of the conscious level of existence which takes in their relationship to their physical senses the physical self and also to the energy levels of the earth and the same energy levels of other beings uh, therefore before a soul is able to tap in to the deeper aspects of the self the uh, knowing aspects that tap into other dimensions it's extremely important to break through this level of consciousness to become aware of where uh, the of where the self is in relation not only to itself but in relation to its centering point in uh, the universe on this level 
as each soul gets in touch with its centering point on each level of consciousness, it then is able to move into another state and another aspect of, of its, its, its own dimensions. But it is important to come into that knowing a level of even the consciousness levels. Therefore, each soul must break through those barriers that would keep it from experiencing its own nature. And this is why it is important for souls to not withdraw from experiences of all types to be involved in all levels of relationships and all levels of experience on the earth plane to uh, be opened into an understanding of, of their consciousness. The desire to know the self is a very important aspect of breaking into this first level of human consciousness. That desire to know is the first important aspect. There are many souls who desire not to know but to cut off an understanding of uh, the true nature of self and therefore this fear of knowing will put a barrier and can lock a energy self into one position during this whole time span of the earth life. However, souls are often forced to have experiences which they fear and this is why on the earth level many this is why there are many uh, types of experiences that uh, are have to be set up for the soul to experience the deeper to experience more a a breaking through into other levels because uh, it is uh, it is important for souls to break through the levels and this is where the where the cycles of, of of the what is called death cycles and the cycles of what is considered tragedy on the earth level are actually cycles that uh, humans have to go into in order to break into other levels of consciousness some souls when they experience uh, the uh, they experience the break breakages of time and experiences the experience the loss the losses of other energy forms around them uh, can open up into an understanding of self through experiences but there are other souls who go further into locking into a time. They lock themselves into a time capsule, which is the emotions that are put around the self, the emotions of fear, and very much the emotion of self-protection from inner knowledge. The emotion of uh, the fear comes from that fear of, 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 of hurt, which is the fear of destruction. But the important aspect of growth is to have these protections destroyed around this, this, the, around the uh, self so that uh, as these forms that have built around the self are destroyed, those emotional forms that hold the self down, as they are destroyed, then the, the soul is at the level of going into the aspects of consciousness where there is the knowing and the understanding and the flowing of energy that is on a timeless level. There are souls that are 
living in this understanding and in this higher energy flow, this higher consciousness level who live on the earth's plane. And these are souls who are uh, working in the exchange of energy where they are helping other energy forms in an understanding of their higher selves. We speak on this because this is the aspect of what we are helping to teach this soul. It is important for this soul to break through those barriers that are that have been built around barriers that have built not only in a, a lifespan of this lifetime but there are certain there are certain patterns and barriers that a soul builds around itself and it is important to break through these in order to break into the timeless level of existence while on the earth plane this is the very essence of why a soul steps into a, the physical body to be able to break through uh, the time barrier of the consciousness, the earth's consciousness, the physical consciousness, into that uh, timelessness of knowing and that timelessness of being in the highest form of energy that is within each pattern of each energy self. This pattern is there within the very nature of consciousness of each soul, and this pattern is in the consciousness of all living forms. And as each soul is able to break through uh, the barriers into an understanding of their own flow and rhythm and an understanding of their own attunement with the universal patterns. It is then that the great creativity flows, the timeless energies that flow through the soul or the self, the timeless knowledge and the timeless experiences that help the soul to grow into the understanding of the purpose of existence. And this has been the basic reason for bringing this soul into the various levels of experience, just to help to break through the barriers. And that this is a slow process, but it is also a process whereby Every soul must operate. Every soul has many factors working at all times. There are many dimensions and patterns that are a part of the inner and the outer natures. And as, as the soul gets in attunement with all of the patterns, but it begins with the inner pattern as it follows into the flow of its inner attunement, uh, there is a breakthrough into many dimensions and many patterns of, of of life and understanding of all knowledge as all the knowledge that exists within the universe it is right within each the pattern of every soul the pattern of every self there is that polar existence of the highest form, a highest form of energy, the highest form of light, and also the polar aspect, the other pole that helps to bring the balance. It is like the earth with its north and south pole, the magnets that attract and also helps to keep balance. There is within each soul the polar existence, the higher the uh, the opposites that help to keep balance and this is why souls come into situations where they operate on energy levels that help to bring them into forms of balance that are normal and 
are on a level where the soul is not in control of these uh, methods whereby they are helped to be brought into balanced points. But if once a soul is awakened to the knowledge of its own existence through the desire to know, to be and to become the come into oneness with all consciousness levels, then there is an ultimate creativity that flows and uh, brings uh, the soul into a timeless level of existence while in the physical body. From, from the perspective, from the viewpoint from which you're speaking, uh, are there any specific messages that might help us at this moment? The specific point is to use the knowledge which you have received, always to put these, uh, what we say, these principles into action and to put them into use. And by using principles that you receive through your guidance and through that guidance that comes through all the levels that seems to be a oneness that seems to, the principles that seem to come up again and again, put these always into action in your own life and in uh, the work that you're doing. And as these principles are put into action, it is like rolling a ball down the hill. It will go on its own energy. It will work on its own energy levels. This is why we teach these various, these lessons are being taught that unless they are put into action, uh, there will be a stopping point in, in the energy levels of those who know. Once you know what you must do, if you know, and do not do it, there is more of a, a destructive blockage in your energy than if you do not know. You must put the principles to work in your own life. And as you put these principles to work, then they become live and are operating in a very live form. This seems an appropriate time to stop and turn over and put the other side of the cassette on, and we will continue with some interesting questions, most interesting. So turn the cassette over now, and we'll begin again. a reality and that is the lesson which the Christ came to teach the earth only to show that way not to talk about that way but to live that way and therefore as each soul lives that which they truly believe it will be a it will be a shining example for for uh, for others in more ways than one. Who then was the Christ who came to us? Uh, the Christ was the highest level of consciousness that was released in human form. It was that level of consciousness uh, that is uh, the very highest level of energy and light that came into a human body 
to show uh, the human level, to show the human level uh, that within each uh, self, which is within each uh, form, there is that very highest self, that highest energy self, and this Christ, uh, uh, this Christ consciousness, came into human form to show to man uh, that it is possible for all souls in even the physical level to be released into that very highest self because as a soul is released into that highest self there is no time there is no time in consciousness and that highest uh, consciousness self, that highest uh, level, whether it is in the earth, whether it is in the earth body or the earth uh, level of consciousness or is within another dimension, it does not matter. The only level is that level that exists in timelessness and therefore this soul this highest uh, light being of the highest form came to show the earth uh, the earth level that there is no separation that uh, there is only the highest level of consciousness the highest energy which is that energy of love that highest form of power is not physical power. The highest form of power is that highest level of love. And therefore, this consciousness, this Christ, uh, this Christ uh, consciousness that came in the form of a man uh, called Jesus knew and experienced the highest um, uh, levels of, of power and that is the level of love power is misinterpreted on the physical level to mean that which is acquired and that which is used is to, to separate one from another to, to um, make one stand out as a stronger ego or a more important self uh, this is how many souls interpret power and they separate themselves from themselves and from others but the Christ consciousness would not accept uh, the earth interpretation of power but uh, but lived in that highest level of love at all times and was in communion with all souls on all levels therefore the the souls that were out of tune with themselves uh, lived in a state of of threat because of this very high energy that threatened to invade uh, them and to release them and this was why uh, the uh, jesus the physical person was destroyed because it was difficult for those who were of a different level of enlightenment to receive uh, this very high power of, of energy which seemed to contradict uh, their own natures and therefore they turned upon this energy trying to destroy their own it was a way of trying to destroy uh, the threat of being released into knowing and understanding themselves and therefore they killed the physical body of uh, the man called Jesus which merely uh, re released this energy and this knowledge uh, to many others but down through the uh, ages through time there has been a misinterpretation of this Christ because it, it has been used in other different forms of power. Man has taken the man, man has taken uh, the, the life of this very high energy 
this high love energy being, this very high self which is the Godhead and has brought him down into their level of consciousness and has interpreted his life on their own level and therefore have pulled uh, uh, this understanding down into the earth levels of consciousness in many ways and has uh, had it has been this is why it is interpreted so differently the life of this Christ because each self each uh, religious order is on a certain level of consciousness and can only interpret that which it knows and understands. And this is why the important truth is that which is understood on the knowing level, on the living level. The Christ, uh, the Christ consciousness uh, that came into the earth is still that pure is still that pure consciousness but the interpretations of this consciousness vary a million fold according to consciousness levels of the earth and of the consciousness levels of those time organizations that interpret what they want to understand but as this Christ has been interpreted in the wrong ways, uh, that is when many souls get locked into uh, the wrong understandings because instead of truly tuning in and knowing and experiencing that Christ self within, they lock themselves into interpretations that uh, can hinder them. This is where we say that the true knowledge, the true understanding is that which comes from the tuning in, the true self tuning in to the true nature of all other consciousness levels around and that true nature of Christ still exists on the earth, that true nature that walked in the physical plane is uh, still of that very highest level and it is possible for souls to tap into that true nature but to try to interpret that nature is a means of uh, destroying and holding down and and putting a putting limitations up on this nature it is not important for man to try to interpret to, with his mind. It is not important for man to put down what he conceives. It is more important for man to tune in to his own nature, that knowing level, and then he knows and understands the truth. But by trying to interpret uh, what they think is the truth, it is often limiting. It is often not only limiting the self, but limiting and let many others by uh, by false concepts. Uh, the Christ came truly to show to live the truth, and this is the only this is the only principle which is important in the earth level is to live uh, those truths uh, which you know within your own being to be important to be uh, that uh, which does not bring separation the christ consciousness was separated from nothing and that's why the death of the body was was uh, was merely a, a point of, of release uh, was that lesson which the earth had to learn that the earth continually limits itself uh, by cutting off that which it uh, truly truly uh, needs to know and the cutting off of this Christ consciousness was symbolic of how individual souls will cut off and try to kill their own true natures this is uh, the uh, meaning of the Christ uh, consciousness the Christ uh, uh, as uh, as uh, he uh, lived in the earth uh, level is this the only instance where such a consciousness came to earth level? 
this consciousness is uh, exists in all uh, is in every soul but it comes in different forms of enlightenment the Christ consciousness has has come through many forms has been uh, come uh, come down in many forms of uh, during uh, the earth's existence uh, and this is that uh, consciousness as we said which is released however uh, the, the Christ was uh, the uh, consciousness that was uh, released uh, more uh, able to uh, live in its uh, its true form but there have been there are now there are many many levels of the Christ consciousness we shall say that Christ consciousness exists in every soul because the Christ consciousness consciousness is that true consciousness that highest level of consciousness in all matter it is that very highest form But had, had it appeared, or does it appear, or is it now, or in the past, in a, another consciousness just as Jesus was, has there been other instances such as that? Yes, as we say, there have been other instances where the Christ consciousness has appeared, but it has been different degrees to which it has been released to the earth. Are any of these any that we are familiar with? There are some that uh, you are familiar with, but there are many that you are not, because often the Christ consciousness can appear in the most simple of being, the most beautiful of souls that live of the greatest simplicity and love. But the highest forms of the Christ consciousness has come in the very simple, uh, the highest forms has come in those who have not received the great world renown and the great world recognition. But there have been many souls who have lived up on the earth uh, who have been released into this uh, higher consciousness. And uh, because they have, uh, they have not accepted or received uh, the recognition because the Christ consciousness is the highest uh, form of, of love and it is not a form of, of power and recognition. It, this is a very difficult, this is a very difficult discussion because to understand the nature of the Christ consciousness, it is difficult to describe the true meaning of, of that which is real. To put it into words is to limit it in by its the very nature of putting into words. This is a form of limiting uh, the true meaning of a uh, God, the true meaning of Christ, the way only to truly understand is to know and to experience this nature. Yes, I truly understand the difficulty. Is there one now, physically alive in the earth, who is of this Christ consciousness? This is the misunderstanding of man to think that a one soul will return just as the form of Jesus. But this is not the way that it is to be understood. The Christ consciousness is alive, is alive within all levels of consciousness. And as it is awakened in each soul, as it is released and awakened, it is that much more released and awakened in the whole universe. This is the misunderstanding that a 
being uh, in the form of one such as Jesus would return. But it, this is a misunderstanding. The message that the Christ uh, demand Jesus came to bring is that is that he, he, all are the Christ consciousness, and therefore you are the Christ consciousness. I am the Christ consciousness. This soul is the Christ consciousness. But the Christ consciousness uh, seeking to be released, seeking to know its own. The Christ consciousness is that consciousness which is the highest level of all life. It is that level of complete attunement and, and knowing. And the misunderstanding is that uh, that a being would uh, appear in some way of power. But those who appear upon the earth and claim to be the Christ consciousness, this is a sign that they are not, because this is a sign that the souls that seek uh, to be recognized as a uh, the uh, great ego uh, as to seek to be recognized and have the energies uh, to come to them. This is as a sign that the energies are in the wrong place. As this is a sign that uh, the soul is not um, released in its uh, Christ uh, into its highest form of consciousness because the Christ self does not seek the recognition, the to be set aside and put up in uh, levels of energy where others will send there uh, to worship uh, and to adore and uh, to idolize. This is not the purpose of, for which the Christ came. Uh, the Christ came, the Jesus, uh, man of Jesus, came to show an example that all have that same power that all are a part of that and therefore beware of those who come and say that they are the returned Christ because they are at the opposite pole of energy they are the negative poles uh, uh, that are seeking recognition uh, in the wrong ways and, and are draw, uh, drawing the energies uh, to them that are distracting the human energies of people as as souls uh, as the energies of souls uh, look to another to receive all their knowledge and to say that another is of the highest that another is to be worshipped and adored that takes the attention away from uh, going within and knowing the truth from within the self therefore no soul is to find uh, the perfect being outside of themselves uh, there is no such thing as the perfect being uh, outside that the the soul that is distracted from going within uh, is uh, is uh, going through a waste of energy every self every soul is a teacher of another soul every soul is a student and every soul is here to learn and to teach and this is why we say that uh, when you find uh, the these energy so, these souls that are seeking to be recognized uh, that this is what is considered the antichrist because uh, this is not of the nature of the true christ and the antichrist are these false energies these false energies uh, that distract uh, humans and take humans away from the real journey of knowing their own, the Christ self within, knowing that oneness. And the only journey is that journey that each individual must take alone, the experiencing, the knowing that comes from the inner attunement. And the souls that live on the power, the ego, a trip uh, have a long way to go in their journeys because 
they are limiting themselves to certain level of consciousness and uh, therefore they limit many other souls uh, any soul that attracts uh, and draws uh, from other souls the energies that they use and uh, use for the ego uh, satisfaction are merely putting themselves and also hindering the growth of other souls the true the true the true teacher the true savior so to speak is the one who teaches souls to tap into themselves to know the truth from their own being and not to idolize them and say that they are the god all souls are the god self and as each soul is aware and taps into that higher understanding from within they are aware that they that there is no there are no levels there are truly no levels uh, within uh, reality there is only that level of the there is only that knowledge there is only that understanding that knowing of of the highest form of energy which is that love released one final question what of the churches that exist in our culture in our world today where do they fit into this concept as the churches are concepts in themselves that have been created through concepts they are manifestations of concepts and as they have manifested through various levels of consciousness they have they have within them elements of the truth but also the greatest of factors that they have are they have limiting factors because they are outer interpretations and they are limiting because uh, they uh, are working on the physical level they are working on the outer level it is where concepts have been taken and have been uh, interpreted on a second level and as each time a concept is interpreted it gets further from the truth it is very difficult to describe this principle but every religion that exists on the earth uh, every uh, every uh, religion is is a conglomeration of many thought forms that have been put into a larger thought form but uh, this does not mean that this is the truth in itself it is not the truth the only truth is that uh, within the self uh, that is in touch with knowledge and the knowing and the realization therefore the institutions that exist are of a second are of a second dimension it is of a different dimension and therefore it is further from the truth because it is an interpretation of the truth it is not the truth itself and therefore by its very nature it can be limiting however for the growth of certain souls souls are attracted to that which they need for their growth and therefore souls often get uh, that are in a certain level of consciousness are attracted to those levels of consciousness on the earth plane that are similar to their own to go through patterns to break through patterns not only from within self but these outer patterns and as often uh, it is important in the growth of a soul to work through certain thought forms of, of concepts and to work through them to release them and as this happens 
often souls can come closer to the truth. There is, there are often no mistakes that uh, souls are choose to come into certain situations. There are many uh, thousands and millions of different religious beliefs because there are, there are this many uh, different uh, concepts that have been created. But the concept is one step from the truth. But again, this is on the physical level and uh, the human self has to go through experiences on the physical level and to go through these various thought forms, experiences can happen to help release a soul into its own knowledge, and uh, therefore the and therefore the uh, uh, churches themselves are uh, no different than any other thought institution, and uh, the thought forms go through many many levels as well. And uh, this is why uh, the churches uh, and all institutions go through all levels of life and death. But it's only when the death comes that life truly happens, just as the example of the Christ, the Jesus who lived. It was only when death came that uh, the uh, self was truly released. And the death of uh, these thought forms, the death of uh, these churches, uh, shows that they are not reality. And as this death of these thought forms come, either within a person or as the death comes, as many churches go through cycles, all cycles, everything that is, even a thought form, is alive, and therefore it goes through cycles of growth. And these patterns are all important in the growth of the soul. So therefore, uh, we are saying that they are not the truth in and of themselves, uh, but they are paths. Uh, they are just uh, uh, aspects along the pathway to the truth. And I believe now that we shall have to let our channel rest. And that's the end of this tape. I would certainly like to hear your comments.